<clears throat> those are pretty tough. So for a lot of you guys that can't do more than one or two of those, do them on your knees. Hey guys, I'm Mark McKillier with Live and Bach. Today, I'm gonna to give you some really good exercises that require absolutely no equipment. No dumbbells, no bands, only your body weight, and we're gonna focus exclusively on our chest. But before I get to that, I want to talk to you about a free resource we have. Guys, you have to take advantage of our Facebook page. So even if you don't like Facebook, and I know I'm not a big fan either, just create an account. You don't have to use any pictures of yourself. You don't have to use your real name. Just create an account. Click the link below this video and join our group. It is phenomenal. We got over 12,000 people all over the world. It's exclusively men and they're typically in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. We have a few guys in their 80s in the group. Great bunch of guys. I'm the moderator, so I'm on there typically twice a day answering questions and then of course everybody else is chiming in and it's 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 guys just like you all right so they're trying to lose weight they're trying to build muscle they're trying to get their testosterone levels up they're trying to work on their cardiovascular um, conditioning basically just take control of their lives all right get back to that younger healthier life that they knew a long 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 time ago so guys when something's free you need to take advantage of it. All right, so six different exercises designed for our chest. You're actually gonna like these. These are kind of interesting, fun variations of push-up. But guys, first off, remember we have six primary muscle groups in our body, and that's, that's how I categorize them. We have, you have your chest, your back, your arms, your shoulders, your abs, and your legs, all right? Now, unfortunately, Several of those muscle groups are almost impossible to target without using equipment. But we're lucky. Chest and legs are two muscle groups that are really important. They're big, they look good, and we got some great exercises we can do with just our body weight, which means you can do them anywhere. You know, when you're on vacation, or when you're traveling, even at the office when you're working, okay, Great exercises. So I'm going to go through all these exercises. I'm going to show you how to do them, what I would say, the, the correct way or the way they were designed. But a lot of you guys are totally beginners and you're carrying a way, way more weight than you need to. And remember, if you've got a lot of extra body weight that you're trying to get rid of, a bunch of fat, right? It's going to make these much harder than they are for me. So I'm going to show all of you guys that are in that category how to do a simple variation of each one of these push-up variations so that you can do them, all right? And you can do them with this easier technique until you get strong enough and you, until you lose some weight and then you can do them the proper way. All right, so the rest of the video, I'm gonna be down here on the floor, right? <laughs> all these push-ups are gonna be down here. The very first one, guys, is probably the easiest of all the different pushes I'm going to show you today. And this is called an incline push-up. So basically my head is going to be elevated. It's going to be higher than my feet. And so when you're doing a, a, a flat push-up like this, you have a lot of weight on your chest, on your arms, okay? And the higher you elevate your head, the more of this body weight is transferred down here to your feet, which means basically you have a lighter upper body, at least it feels lighter to you when you're doing your push-up, which means it's easier. So the higher the elevation, the easier it is to do the push-up. Just keep that in mind when you're picking something to do your push-up on. I'm going to be doing these push-ups on my couch and it's only elevated about 14 to 16 inches. You might have a box or a high chair or something like that that's much higher, meaning when you put your hands on that, it's going to be a lot easier. So let me show you how to do some Incline push-ups here. All right, remember, try to keep your body straight. Don't stick your butt way up high and don't let it sag way down here. Try to keep it nice and straight and then try to get full range of motion, guys, which means your chest goes all the way down to the cushion. Now, if this is too hard for some of you guys that are beginning, this is the trick I'm going to show you on almost every single push-up today that's going to make it doable 
for you until you get in good enough shape to do it the correct way. And that is just go to your knees. All right, so instead of being up on your toes, all right, go to your knees. Now your upper body weighs even less than it did before. And it'll make doing push-ups way easier. All right, so guys, even on your knees, if you do these with proper form and go all the way down till your chest touches the cushion and then control the movement up and down, I promise you'll be able to feel a pump and you'll be able to feel that muscle engaging. Okay, so push-up number two is a decline push-up. So if incline means our head is up high, decline means our head is lower than our feet. And when we do that, we're transferring some of the weight from our feet towards our head or towards our chest, which means it's gonna be even heavier, okay? Or it's gonna be harder. So the higher you put your feet, the higher the elevation, the more weight gets transferred to your chest, okay? So once again, try to keep a nice stiff, you know, longitudinal body here. Don't sag too much and you don't want your butt way up in the air, okay? And it's just straight down and straight back up. All right. Now, if it's too hard for you to do that because you're a beginner, all right, just bring your knees down here. I'm going to leave my toes up, okay? And I can still do this decline push up. And it's a lot easier, okay, because I'm carrying a smaller percentage of my overall body weight because my knees are taking a lot of that force off of my chest. Okay, so push-up number three today is something called a wide hands push-up. So, if this is the normal position of your hands on a traditional push-up, okay, I just want you to move your hands out about six inches each. All right, so now my hands are noticeably wider than my shoulders. a lot tougher than a regular push-up and part of the reason is when we move our hands way out here we're not able to use our triceps quite as much all right versus a traditional push-up so we're using almost exclusively our chest okay now yes the triceps and your shoulders are still getting engaged but not as much as when we're doing a traditional push-up and hence it's gonna be harder to do you won't be able to do as many of them but once again guys if you're unable to do a wide hand push-up, come down to your knees, all right? And then try it. Much easier, but still effective. You gotta start somewhere, guys. All right, push-up number four. <laughs> you don't have to use a metal bowl like this, all right? I love using this for popcorn, all right? Instead, I'm gonna use it for push-ups. Guys, you can use a sturdy rubber ball, you can use some dumbbells, anything that's gonna get one hand up off the ground relative to your other hand. So, my hands are gonna be in a traditional push-up position, about shoulder width apart, okay? And I'm just gonna start doing my normal push-ups. And after you knock out a certain number on one side, just switch it over, guys. And once again, if it's too hard for you, just go to your knees, okay? The knees is always the solution to making these things easier. Now, you may need to move your knees back a little bit relative to your hands, so when you come down, you're in a better position, all right? If your knees are too far forward like this, when you come down, see how I, my head goes way out in front of my hands? So you're gonna have to move your knees back a little bit, okay? Boom. Then when I come down, I'm coming down. My chest is coming down straight in line with my two hands. All right, number five. This is my favorite named exercise. It's called a Spider-Man push-up. Makes you sound like a real badass, right? <laughs> well, it's fun, but it ain't easy. So, you're gonna get in a, just a traditional, normal, standard push-up position, okay? 
And when you go down, turn your head to one side and bring that knee up to that elbow that you're staring at. Those are pretty tough. So for a lot of you guys that can't do more than one or two of those, do them on your knees. Remember, that's our trick to all these different exercises. So I'm on my knees and I'm coming down. That's not even easy, but still, it's a lot easier than doing them on your toes. Okay, number six, this is the last body weight chest exercise for the day. Another great name to exercise is called an archer. So an archer push-up, think of this movement here. Kind of, sort of similar when I'll show you, okay? So if this is the regular hand position for a normal push-up, okay? You know, I'd be up on my toes, all right? I want you to move your hands out basically like our wide push-up and turn your hands so that your fingers are pointing outward a little bit, okay? Now we're gonna get in this push-up position and watch this, we're just gonna go side to side. So when I go to the left side, I have to look over to the right with my head. When I go to the right, I look to my left hand, so. Side to side, guys. And just like all the other ones, too hard, do them on your knees, guys. So now I'm on my knees, and I can just go from side to side. So, man, think about that, guys. Six different variations of a push-up. All of these are focusing on our chest, on our pecs, but because they're all different and we're hitting our chest at different angles, we're working different parts of our chest. We're actually putting more or less emphasis on different parts of our chest. Every one of these push-ups engages all of your pec muscles, but some of them engage the lower pec muscles more than the upper, and then some of them engage the upper pec muscles a little more than the lower. So, great exercises. And the reason I wanted to show you all six different variations here is because you may get really bored with just doing a traditional, standard, military-style push-up, okay? And if you don't get bored with that, that is a fantastic way to work your chest, guys. But it's always great. Variety means it keeps you mentally interested in what's going on. If you're mentally interested, and it's more fun. If it's more fun, you're more likely to do it and stick with it. All right, so guys, everybody wants a big chest. I do too. It looks great. It looks great with your shirt off. It looks great with your shirt on also. So no excuses, all right? You're traveling, you forget your equipment, or you just don't have time. You can always knock out a bunch of these different push-up variations. It only takes a few minutes, guys. And then this is something you can do several times a week. If you're really trying to build a big chest, if you're not able to do a lot of push-ups and you want to really improve, these are things you can do almost every other day, I would say, all right? So I don't want you to do them every single day because your chest, your muscles do need rest. They do need at least 48 hours to help repair and grow back. Uh, and the harder that you do these exercises, the harder you push it, the more reps you do, the more sets you do, the more rest you're gonna need. So if you really kill these push-ups and do a lot of them and get really tired and fatigued, you're gonna need at least three days, maybe four days of rest before you do them again. So keep that in mind when you're going through the week and you're deciding you wanna, you wanna crank out some push-ups. If you just did 150 yesterday, all right, don't do it anymore the next day. Give yourself at least a full day off before you hit your chest again. And remember guys, if you stick with it and never give up on yourself, I promise you're going to build a great looking chest.